Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central. We're uh, checking out the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection today. What you're seeing right here is footage from Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2017. Uh, this is the last time we got a quote-unquote new entry in this series. Um, this game, they were going to make a third of this even. This is, this is part of the EA uh, rebrand or the EA reboot of the series. Uh, this was a fine game to play, but uh, the the crappy monetization practices of EA struck again. Uh, and both of those, the first one and the second one, kind of marred by that. But let's take let's take a trip back in time, if you will, to a different place that might be far away. Uh, <laughs> uh, Star Wars Battlefront was a game that came came out in the early two thousands. Uh, that kind of took a novel approach for that time to what could be done with a Star Wars first-person shooter or a Star Wars shooter in general. Uh, they kind of adapted what was then kind of a newish uh, genre of kind of like arena shooting with massively, massively multiplayer arena shooting. 64 players at once, imagine that. That was a big deal. That's a lot of people. It still kind of is. It still can be kind of overwhelming because of that. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And what was really cool about these games is they kind of made you feel like a grunt in the Star Wars universe. You weren't necessarily Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader, although in the second in the second game of that uh, original two-part series, uh, you could be. Um, it it you were rather a stormtrooper or just a rebel soldier or whatever, right? Uh, so. The mechanics of it were really fast-paced. The the nature of these big battles was really enjoyable to just kind of be again overwhelmed by by being surrounded by thirty people on one side versus thirty people on the other. Um, and I have a lot of fond memories of this game. I got the first one on Christmas Day. Uh, that was a Christmas present from my, from my mom. Uh, and then the second one. <laughs> the second one, uh, I bought it myself because I was college age at that time, and uh, it, it my it was stolen. Two weeks later, my house got robbed, uh, and like they the 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 thieves, the dirty thieves, they took all my games. This is a true story. They took all my games. They took all my guitars, my amplifier. Uh, they took all my CDs, even ooh. To this day, it was I never got to finish this game, uh, which is funny because I own it again, uh, and I, I I I totally I totally have put in the kind of time that I would have liked to put in at that time. One problem, one problem. This launch, this uh, this uh, classic collection remaster here, uh, put together by Aspire, it is laden with issues, laden with bugs, laden with server issues, laden with uh, visual misfires. Uh, it is a hell of a lot of fun to play when it works. Uh, when it works, it is just as good as it always was. Uh, I might even say Battlefront 2 is, this is my opinion, because I know a lot of people prefer the first one. And I know a lot of people do like the gameplay of the newer ones, and I do too. I just, I just, I'm not a fan of EA's practices, monetization practices. Uh, but you know, they kind of wipe those out anyway, so what's there to complain about? But whatever. Uh, my feeling is that Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2, is the finest in the series because it gets the balance of mobility. It gets the balance of uh, length of matches, even which which I felt like the newer games they were a little verbose sometimes. Uh, you know, the dodging mechanic was really really nice. The fact that they added the ability to be Jedi, the fact that they added the ability to pilot spacecraft in space, uh, all all some really cool stuff. Um, and again, like. Uh, it was it was it was kind of innovative for its time, especially for a generation of gamers that was not necessarily raised on tons of online gaming. We we hadn't had we I mean, we'd had online games. Don't get me wrong, 
especially if you were a PC gamer. But but console gamers, something like this was pretty radical. It was pretty cool. Now, I purchased this game, uh, I pre-purchased it, a couple days before it launched, and I was there when it launched. Uh, I was sitting, sitting here in front of my TV uh, at 10 p.m. my time, which is when it, when it launched. Got right on the servers, and there was nobody to play with. There was nobody to play with. There was nothing. There, there. So, is that true? Is there nobody to play with on a brand new game that, you know, potentially hundreds of thousands of people are aching to play right at that very moment? Uh, in my just in my country, right? Uh, no, probably not. That's a server issue thing, and they, they've kind of confirmed all this. Point being, while I can recommend Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, the originals, wholeheartedly, so good. Things like this, the authenticity of putting like little clips, uh, clips from the movies between the campaign missions. Uh, I know that's that's not much of a thing, but you know, even the even the, the rebooted games didn't have stuff like that. They really tried to make this feel like Star Wars. That's the beautiful thing about any of these games. They actually talked to... Well, these games were made by LucasArts originally, so they have access to the entire Lucasfilm uh, Skywalker Ranch uh, database of sounds and imagery. They worked their butts off to make these feel like authentic Star Wars battles. However, due to uh, server issues aplenty, uh, gameplay issues, uh, you know, the fact that there's no... There's no quick launch, really, uh, to speak of at the moment. You can, you have to go in old old school, like, uh, and pick the best server based on how many players are in it and the ping. You got to look for ping. Uh, you know, I played this on Xbox Series X, and I feel like my experience with it has been smoother than, say, uh, certainly the people who have bought it on Steam because I've. <laughs> I've seen some of those Steam reviews and people are pretty pretty upset about how it plays on PC. So maybe it's a little bit better on console. Um, but I still had issues, man. And so I'm not going to recommend it uh, for the time being. I absolutely will recommend these games all day long. Especially since, look, they're on servers again. You can actually play them with friends again. Which is a, a totally beautiful uh, possibility, wonderful thing to be able to do. Uh, but until they patch this, which I believe they probably will, and they'll probably get it right, at that time the game will probably get, oh gosh, I'll give it an 8, man. I, I really like these old games. But until then, it's going to get a 6 from me, 6 out of 10. Wait, wait for them to patch it, then dive into some Battlefront. Have some fun nostalgia. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do me a favor, everybody. This is my uh, newest uh, musical release, Audiophile 1. It is uh, remastered, resequenced, remade. Uh, version of my first album uh, that I put out oh I guess about four years ago now um, I always wanted it to sound a little bit better I always wanted it to flow a little bit better so that's what I've done here you can check this out Spotify uh, Amazon music Apple music even here on YouTube that's it that's all I gotta say I am spent or spent is that the French no that sounds more German a spinta that's the Italian. Sorry if I just offended people. <laughs>